Now that you have added the author and the publisher entities, you need to add two services that you'll use to add author and publisher data to the database. So on this part, you'll add the publisher service, you'll add the publisher view model and the publisher controller. You'll do the same for the author, you'll add the author service, the author view model and the author controller. Then next, you'll configure the publisher and the author services in the startup.cs file and then by the end, you'll test using Swagger. So let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In here, go to the Solution Explorer, then inside Data, inside the Services folder, we are going to add a new service. So just right click, then go to Class, and go to name this service Authors Service, and then either press Enter or you can just click the Add button. Now, in here, we are going to inject the AppDB context file because we are going to use the Entity Framework Core to add data to our database. You can simply just go to the Solution Explorer, then Book Service, copy these lines. So, Control C, go to the Authors Service, and paste the lines in here. Now, change the constructor name from Books Service to Authors Service. So, Control C, Control V. Then, next, we are going to add a method to add data to the database. For that, I'll just go back to the book service, scroll down in here and just copy these data. So control C, go back to authors, paste them in here, change the add book to add author. Of course, we need to create another view model. We cannot use the book view model in here. So let us just go to solution explorer inside the view models, just add a class. I'm going to name the view model author VM and VM stands for view model. Then click add. This will have a single property. So prop of type string and then in here full name. Let us save the changes Then go to the authors service. In here change the book view model to author VM. Let us import the namespace. And that is the data.viewmodels. Then changing here the underscore book to underscore author. Then this is equal to new author. Let us import the namespace for the author. That is the data.models. And the only property that the author needs to have is the full name. So I'll just close this one. In here, I'll select everything. And then just type in here. Full name is equal to book dot full name. Then down here we have context dot authors add underscore author. Now let us save the changes. So this is all you need to do in the author service. Now let us go and create an authors controller. So solution. Then inside the controllers, just right click, add a controller. In here on the left, select the API, then API controller dash empty, then click the add button. Let us name this controller, authors controller, and click the add button. Now inside this controller, we are going to create an API endpoint to add data to our database. But to do that, we need to inject the author service. So for that, I'll just type in here private authors service underscore author service. So let's add the underscore, import the namespace, and that is the data.services. We are going to inject this service in the controller constructor. So for that, I'll just type in here CTO, then double tab. I'll just copy the author's service part. So control C, then control V, remove the underscore, and assign the value to the underscore author service to be the authors service. Don't forget to add the semicolon. And then down here, we are going to add the HTTP post. Now, if you don't want to write all this code, you can just go to the solution explorer, then go to the books controller, 
scroll down to the HTTP post. So the ad book, just copy these lines, control C, then go to the author's controller and then control V in here. Change the API endpoint from ad book to add author. Then from the body, we are going to send the author VM, the view model, import the namespace, and that is the data.viewmodels. And then in here, we are going to use the underscore author service dot add author and pass as a parameter the author. So let us just change the book in here to author and then pass the author as a parameter to the add author method. So just author. Now let us save the changes. Next, we need to add the publisher related data. So let us just go to the solution explorer and start with the publisher service. So in here, I'll just select the author's service, then control C, control V to copy this service, then go inside this service and change the name from author's service to publisher's service. Then you need to also change the constructor name from author's service to publisher's service. Then down here, let us change the method name to be add publisher. And we need to also create the publisher view model. So let us just add in here the publisher VM. Then in here change the underscore author to be underscore publisher, new publisher. And the name of the publisher will come from the publisher. So let us just change the book in here to publisher, copy, paste it down here, dot name. Then next we have the context.publishers.add the underscore publisher. Now let us go and create the publisher VM. So for that, just go to the solution explorer. Then inside the view models, select the author VM, control C, control V, change the name of the author VM to publisher VM. Then inside here, let us also change the author VM to be publisher VM and change the property from full name to just name because this is going to be the publisher name. So save the changes in here. Go to the author's service. You see that the error is gone, but we still have the copy at the end of this name. So let us just go to the solution explorer. And here change the name by pressing F2 or just right click, then go to rename, change it from author's service to publisher's service. Next, you need to also add the publisher's controller. So I'll just go to the author's controller, control C, control V in here, just right click, rename, change the name to be publisher's controller, and then press enter. Let us go inside this class or inside this controller here, scroll down change the name from author's controller to publisher's controller. The constructor name needs to be publisher's controller. This service is going to be the publisher's service. Also change the name in here to be publishers. Control C then control V, remove the underscore. Change the author's service to be publisher's service then assign the value to the underscore publisher service is equal to the publisher's service. In here, in the HTTP post, we are going to change the add author to be add publisher and also change the from body parameter from author VM, publisher VM, then down here underscore publisher service dot add publisher and then pass as a parameter the publisher. So let us change the author to be publisher. Then control C, control V, and that's it. Now let us save all the changes by clicking the save all changes button or control shift S, and then go to build, build solution.
We see that our build succeeded, but for us to be able to test this project, we need to go and configure the services that we just added in the startup.cs file. So let us go to the solution explorer, then go to the startup.cs, scroll down in here. So just after the add transient books service, we are going to type services.add transient. And we are going to add the authors service, then services.add transient. We're going to add the publishers service. Now let us save the changes and run the application. Now in here we see that we get an error from the AppDB initializer. And that's right because the database schema has already been updated, but we have not changed the AppDB initializer. But we are not going to update this file because we are going to add all the data to our database using Swagger. So let us go to the startup.cs. You need to stop Visual Studio and scroll down to the AppDB initializer call. So I'll scroll down here to the bottom and just add a comment. So control KC. Now the seed method will not be called. So let us just run Visual Studio one more time. Now that the app ran successfully, you can see that we have multiple endpoints. So we have the post endpoint for the authors controller. You have already seen the books controller. And if you scroll down, you also have the publishers controller. And the API endpoint for this one, for example, is API stash publishers stash add dash publisher. And on these schemas, now we have three view models, the author, the book, and the publisher view model. Now let us scroll up and let us add an author. Then here I'll just click the try it out. The full name will be author one. Then scroll down in here, execute. If you scroll down, you'll see that the author was added successfully. Now let us scroll up. Let's add in here another author. So author two execute let us add one more three execute now let us scroll down to the publisher in here click then try it out scroll down the name will be publisher one then click execute let us add another publisher so publisher two execute then publisher three execute let us go back to visual studio to see if we have our data in the database in here stop visual studio then go to the server explorer let us refresh the tables let's go to the authors then show table data in here we can see that we have the three authors that we just added let us go back and go to the publishers right click and show table data. In here we can also see that we have the three publishers that we just added.